When you see a polar bear in a zoo, you often get an appreciation for their individual personality. And I think that seeing them is really the only way to really appreciate how fascinating they are as a species. So there's a lot of things that we can learn from polar bears and zoos that we just can't do in studies of wild bears. Polar bears are actually notoriously difficult to study in the wild. They live in extremely harsh conditions. And more recently, the sea ice that the bears depend on, we know is melting away. What part of the habitat is most important to them as they endure the changes that are coming? And how can we as, as humans help manage and protect those areas? For decades, Polar Bears International has been working with our Arctic Ambassador Center partners to just make incredible things happen. This network reaches from the U.S. to Canada to Europe, and it's with partners like these that we're going to be able to achieve our conservation action goals. The zoos and aquariums in our Arctic Ambassador Center network are participating in research, education, and climate action and advocacy programs, all addressing the key challenges that polar bears face. As trusted messengers, Arctic Ambassador Centers have the opportunity to speak about climate change and its impacts on polar bear populations consistently and to change the public discourse to be positive, civic-minded, and solutions-focused. The reach of zoos and aquariums is far greater than many people realize. AZA accredited organizations interact with over 200 million visitors every year which is more than the combined attendance of the top five major pro sports leagues. Bears in human care provide an incredible opportunity for biologists to study bears that they have direct access to on a regular basis over the long term. Our tools for studying bears in the wild are very, very limited, which is the reason that zoo polar bear research is really important in augmenting what we know about them as a species studies that help us better understand what are their nutritional requirements, what are their energetic costs, even physical characteristics like what can they hear. Knowing about their hearing has been really important in trying to assess what might be a disturbance to polar bears. What is their energetic cost if they are disturbed and how does that impact their body condition? We've now published many, many studies about wild bears and the tools that we've developed in collaboration with zoos have allowed us to better understand how exactly is sea ice loss affecting polar bears. Given that we're seeing more open water in the Arctic, there's a lot of interest in what it's costing bears to swim. In a zoo environment, you can measure the calories an animal is utilizing, and by watching a polar bear walk, feed, swim, run, you can get actual numbers and then be able to apply that in an energetics model looking at how polar bears are experiencing the Arctic. Each of these projects is one piece of the bigger picture, and that's what we're trying to do is put together the puzzle and better understand the biology and behavior of the species. We work with Arctic Ambassador Centers to create content, to coordinate events. We have scientists that participate as subject matter experts, and we can also work together to incorporate a call to action in their messaging. Together, our institutions can frame messages that promote a clear understanding of what's at stake, how climate change is happening, its wide range of impacts on polar bears and other species, and what we can do about it as a community. Data shows us that this type of advocacy really improves the guest experience and actually that they expect to hear from trusted messengers about conservation action. A lot of people learn what they know about animals from zoos. Zoos can provide the most up-to-date scientific information that gives visitors the opportunity to know exactly what is happening how do we study them, why do we study them, and then how do we connect that to conserving the species. This is not just about polar bears, it's about all of us. We are stronger when we're together, and we couldn't do this without the commitment of our Arctic Ambassador Center partners, some of the most dedicated conservationists that we have the opportunity to work with. Through these important partnerships between polar bear researchers, climate and social scientists, zoos and aquariums, skilled communicators, and communities of people living with bears or supporting them from afar, we have such potential to safeguard polar bear populations for future generations. 
Polar Bears International's capacity to bring together different stakeholders and to harness that energy and put it out there in service to polar bears and climate change action is something that's gonna change the world. It's been incredibly inspiring to be a part of that community and that partnership and to see how far we've come.